Hey guys, it's Max. In this video, we are gonna be comparing the brand new AirPods Max to the Bose 700s. And not only are we gonna compare the active noise cancellation, we're also gonna take a look at things like the ambient mode, we're gonna talk about comfort, we're gonna listen to audio and compare them in multiple different genres, and even some uncompressed, super high quality audio playing both wired. We're gonna test latency, microphone quality, and much more. The first thing that I notice is the difference in weight. The AirPods Max weigh about 50% more than the Bose, and it is fairly significant. And you definitely notice that weight difference if you're going outside on a walk, and especially if you try running with these. The heft and extra weight really kind of bounces on your head with the AirPods Max. But with that said, I think most people are gonna be on airplanes, sitting in office chairs, things like that, not really using them in active environments. As far as comfort when you're sitting down, I did use both of these, and they're very unique. With the AirPods Max, you have this top band with this really stretchable material and it pretty much makes the headband kind of disappear when you put them on over the head. You kind of just don't feel it at all. Whereas with the uh, Bose headphones, the band is fairly soft, but it's rubbery, and you definitely notice it when you put them on. You always feel the headband right on the top of your head. With that said, the Bose do have quite a bit less pressure as far as the ear cups um, around your ear, so it's a different feeling. As far as the padding, both of these are very soft, soft than the Sony's that I own, so that part of it is good. And as far as long-term comfort, um, I did feel a little bit more comfortable in the AirPods Max, but I haven't used them for an extended period of time just yet. I'm gonna use them for a full day, and I'll talk about that in my full detailed review. So make sure you click that subscribe button below if you guys wanna check that out. As far as adjustability, I like that both of them have these telescopic arms, so you don't have a standard kind of clicked design. So you can get it exactly how you want, and the bows, they don't adjust in the band, just the actual cups themselves move, but it's still really nice and it has a good amount of tension, so it's not gonna accidentally adjust. As far as build quality, the AirPods Max are definitely ahead. They're built out of solid aluminum that's CNC'd out for the ear cups here, and then you have stainless steel for the headband that is rubberized. These definitely are the most premium feeling headphones that I've ever held. With that said, the Bose don't feel cheap. They are plastic, and then you have this metal headband over here. They definitely feel nicer than most headphones on the market, and I would not choose the AirPods Max just because of build quality. One area the Bose smokes the AirPods Max is the case. We have this smart case that Apple gave us, and you open it up, you slip these in here, that gives you access to the charging point with this, and you have this magnetic kind of flap here, but I hate the way it looks. I hate that you have to put these in here to power them down automatically, and probably the worst thing is how much of this aluminum is exposed. So if you toss these in a bag, in a backpack, you can still get this scratched up and dinged up, which really sucks, and then I'm also kind of worried about this soft headband, it getting cut or frayed, um, I don't like that. Bose has a really nice case. It's very slim, it's protective, but it's not big. And then you can open it up. We have this nice little magnetic compartment for your cables. Yes, they do include a three and a half mil cable. It's fairly lightweight and it's nice and protective. So you pop it in, throw it in your backpack, you have no worries. And now I wanna clear up a misconception with the AirPods Max. Apple just put out a statement today and they said that if you're not using them with the case and you just leave your AirPods Max on the table like this, after about five minutes, they will go into low power mode Whereas with the case, they go into low power mode instantly. And then if you don't touch them for a couple of days, then they'll go into ultra low power mode, where in the case, it takes 18 hours to go into that state. So you don't have to use the case, and you don't lose out on that much battery life if you don't end up using it, which I haven't been. And now let's talk about controls. The Bose have a couple buttons over here if you wanna use your smart assistant, or you wanna toggle between the active noise cancellation. We have a Bluetooth pairing button, and we actually have a touch surface on the right ear cup right here. Now it's a little bit small uh, because it's just on the right side of the band, but it actually is very responsive, much better than the Sony XM3s and XM4s, so it does work. The AirPods Max, on the other hand, just have physical controls. We have a toggle to go between your active noise cancellation and your transparency mode, and we have this digital crown. Now personally, I am a huge fan of that digital crown because you can just lift up your hand, you can turn them up, turn 
trim down. You can press once or multiple times to do different functions. So far, it's been working really well. As far as battery life, both of these are rated at 20 hours with active noise cancellation. And I think both Bose and Apple underrated them. The sound guys gave the Bose about 22 hours in their 75 decibel test. They haven't yet tested the AirPods Max, but they do seem like they're better. And then you can turn off the active noise cancellation as well if you want more battery life. And both can be topped up really quickly. And now let's get into how they perform. We're gonna start out with noise cancellation. And I'm gonna start out testing how they perform with the active noise cancellation turned off just to see how much noise they block out passively. And as you guys can see, you actually can toggle them to off mode and the AirPods Max block out a substantial amount of sound um, with not active cancellation, not even on. We have a vent up there and I could still hear it, but a lot of that sound is gone. Probably the majority of it. Let's check out the Bose and I just have them turned off right now. So there's nothing going on. Okay, yeah, there definitely is a difference. So these cut out probably 50% of that HVAC noise, but I could definitely hear the low rumble and a little bit of the higher pitch wind noise going through that vent. So not as good as the AirPods Max, but let's go ahead and turn them on and check out the active noise cancellation. Woo, right away, that noise is gone and it has a nice little tone when you turn it on. It also tells you there's a little voice assistant that talks to you, but the voice sounds terrible, way worse than the Sony's. Wow, okay. So all the low end rumble is gone. I still hear a little bit of that higher end hiss. And it's interesting because I know I'm re referring back to the Sony's because I just tested those and I have the XM3's. The Sony's get rid of all the high end, the low end, there's still a little bit left. Still very, very good. Yeah, that's definitely a big difference there. Let's put these on, press the button. All right. I hear my voice more so when I'm talking than with the Bose, which is very interesting. But that HVAC noise, and we have a central furnace that's always on here, that is completely gone. We don't have any of the low end rumble and none of the high frequency sounds as well. It definitely is stronger as far as the active noise cancellation. Let's take this one step further. I have some air compressor sound here, which has a mix of different sounds. I'm gonna turn it down a little bit this time because in the last video, I don't know if you guys could even hear me. That's how loud it was. So I'm gonna hit play here, set it down about three feet in front of me. And I hear the different frequencies, the kind of modulation there, but it's definitely really quiet. Let me take these off. Oh yeah, probably about 75% of that is gone. So that is impressive. Let's go ahead and put the bows on. Okay, so I, these actually cancel out a little bit more of that low end sound, but you still get more of the high end sound. So wow, that is actually closer than I expected between these two. Honestly, I wouldn't buy one over the other just for the differences in active noise cancellation. They are very close. Overall, the AirPods Max, they do a better job but the difference isn't that substantial. I do wanna add that the Bose does allow you to customize how much active noise cancellation you want. And if you toggle the button, it'll actually go to half active noise cancellation and then your ambient mode. But I think for most people, if you're blocking at sound, you wanna block out all of it. So now let's go ahead and compare the ambient or the transparency modes. On the Bose, you just turn off active and it pumps in sound from outside of you. So let me press once and then press twice. Okay, wow, actually, well, my voice sounds a little bit different. I sound, <laughs> I don't sound very digital, which is interesting. The ambient mode is pretty good. I sound like I'm a little bit nasally, like if I just close my nose, but that vent sound sounds very true to life. My voice just sounds a little bit off. Angelica, can you say something? Hello. You sound pretty natural. Let me go ahead and lift this up. All right, yeah, so it's not as loud as the actual environment is, it's a little bit quieter still, but the frequencies are pretty good. That, man, the, the ambient mode's definitely way ahead of the Sony XM4s. All right, let's try out the AirPods. I press this once. All right, yeah, I mean, if you guys look at any reviews online, these are killing it with their transparency mode. Apple's done a fantastic job. It sounds 99% as true to life. The ambient mode is definitely better than the Bose. Uh, let me hear your voice as well. One, two, three. You sound identical. 
to real life or almost identical, pretty much there. The ambient mode is really good on the AirPods Max. I don't know if that matters to you guys or how much that matters, uh, but these are ahead. And now let's go ahead and compare the microphones. I'm gonna start out in this room where we have a lot of the HVAC noise that needs to be canceled out. And then we're gonna move to a much, much quieter room. This is the microphone quality of the Bose 700s in a fairly loud environment. And this is the quality of the AirPods Max in a fairly loud environment. And now let's go into that quiet room and test the microphones there. This is the microphone quality of the Bose 700s in a really quiet room. And this is the microphone quality of the AirPods Max in a really quiet room. All right, guys, let me know your thoughts down in the comments section below. Which one sounded better in the loud room versus the quiet room? What differences you noticed? Let me know. Uh, one thing I wanna point out is that I really like that the Bose as soon as you start recording, even with the third-party app, it gives you this little notification, like a little hum that kind of kicks in, and that way you know if any application is using the microphones. That is pretty neat. And now I wanna test out latency. For those of you guys that might wanna play some gaming using Bluetooth or maybe some video editing, how much delay is there? I have Call of Duty Mobile opened up right here. I'm gonna switch through the menus here. And the AirPods Max, they have about 100 milliseconds of delay, maybe up to 150, but about 100. So that is very, very good for Bluetooth headphones. And that makes things like video editing, even though you might notice delay if you're looking for it, still usable. So definitely not bad. Vadim did play a couple hours of Call of Duty Mobile and he said he had no issues. Let's go ahead and test out the Bose. All right. I think these are actually better than the Sony's or maybe close, definitely more delay. Yeah, probably about a third of a second or so, 300 milliseconds, 350. So you definitely will notice it, not as bad as some other headphones, which can go up to like 700 milliseconds, uh, but definitely not as good as the AirPods Max. Now, of course, you can use both of these wired. The wire comes with the Bose 700s. With the AirPods Max, you have to spend another 35 bucks and you can't use the little adapter that came with your older iPhone. I tested it out, it doesn't work. Uh, but with that said, if you are wanting to edit on the go or play games without a cable, that's one area that you really can't beat to the AirPods Max or the other AirPods. And now it's time to compare the sound quality. I went ahead and found the tracks that I've been using in titles. We're gonna get some better audio quality compared to YouTube. I'm gonna go ahead and take a listen. You guys can hear some of the song as well. And then I'll give you guys my opinions. All right, guys, wow, that was definitely interesting. There's a couple big differences between these. First off, I wanna say that the Bose have really nice clarity and separation between different sounds, a lot better than the Sony's. Um, now with that, these actually get quite a bit, whoops, quite a bit louder than the AirPods Max at full volume. Come on. Ah, there's no optical sensor in there. All right, let's pause, I just hit that touch little touch sensor. So yeah, there's no optical sensors here, but man, these get loud. I had to turn them down. And with that, I noticed that at full blast, the bass cannot keep up. Uh, you really start hearing the mids and especially the highs. And then if you kick it down a notch or two on the iPhone, which I ended up having to do, then it sounds a lot more balanced. But at full blast, it was just way too loud anyways, at least with high quality Tidal sound. Now with that, the bass on the AirPods Max was still quite a bit better. It's a lot more rich, and the AirPods Max are right in between the Sony's, which are a little too boomy, and the Bose 700s. But of course, this is an EDM song. It's pretty easy to play this back. Let's go ahead and listen to something else. This song has some piano, has some nice bass, some other instruments, and it really allows you to hear the sound stage with different headphones. So let's take a listen.
All right, guys, very interesting once again. Uh, that is a whole different sound compared to the last song. First off, this song was quieter, and I appreciated that I can get more volume out of these. I actually had them maxed out with the AirPods Max. I tried to turn them up more so, not that you really need to with active noise cancellation, but I'm just a sucker for really loud sound. Let me know if you're one of those people down in the comment section below. And the bass here, uh, it was perfectly enough. I didn't really want any more. Even though the AirPods Max, it does have more bass, it still sounds good, but I didn't feel like it was lacking. What I felt was lacking was the richness in the piano notes. I noticed that the most. It just sounded a little bit flat, whereas the AirPods Max sound really nice and rich. And with that, interestingly, once again, um, the higher little, I don't know what instrument that is, little hi-hats or something that's in here, it didn't sound as um, crisp, I guess, not in a bad way. It didn't stand out as much with the bows, whereas the previous song, the vocals were actually a little bit more crisp with the bows, and it sounded nicer on the AirPods Max. And then the last thing is the sound stage. You could definitely tell that the AirPods Max have a wider sound stage, so they definitely sounded quite a bit better than the Bose, a bigger difference than with that EDM track. And now let's make this even tougher. We're gonna listen to a rock song where we have so many different instruments all being played very loud and being mushed together. And this test has been the toughest out of all of them that I've done so far. So let's go ahead and start out. All right, guys, wow. That is another massive difference. And just like with the Sony, sorry I keep referring, I know this is not a comparison to the Sony's, this test is really where the AirPods Max really stand out. If you're somebody who loves listening to rock, metal, other genres where you have a lot of instruments, these things absolutely destroy when you're listening to that. Now, these didn't sound bad, but there was one major issue. Well, maybe two issues, but one is an actual issue. At full blast, there is like some harshness or distortion in the high frequencies and in the vocals. They just sound very harsh. I had to turn them down. I turned them down by one notch, and then it seemed like it was too quiet. Like there's a big jump between full blast and one notch down. I try to turn it up, and it goes back up to full volume. So you can't run them at full volume there. Now, one interesting thing that I noticed is that they're right in the mess of all the instruments, which sounds good, it's a good mess. There's like a little violin in the background. I did not hear that with my AirPods Max, with the Sonys, I do hear them with these bows. The clarity is definitely good. But what I really missed once I turned it down is the richness in the bass, where you can, and also that you can separate um, the, the sound of the drums and the bass guitar. It kind of gets blended together. It's not very rich. And that is where the AirPods Max have been doing an absolutely great job. Not only does it sound rich, but you can separate the different instruments that are all very similar, I guess, in frequencies. So if you're somebody that listens to this kind of music, wow, that's a big difference. And now let's kick it up one more level. I have my MacBook Pro here, and we are listening to an ultra high quality, completely uncompressed song. Instead of playing back at 256 kilobit per second with the Bluetooth option, we are at 8,000 400. This song is actually 563 megabytes. It is massive. So let's go ahead and take a listen. And once again, shout out to Hi-Fi Insider and MA Audiophilic Recordings uh, for providing us with this really high quality song.
Alrighty, that was the final test. And that was actually a lot closer than I expected. Now, there were a few key differences. The biggest one is probably soundstage. With the Bose, they're very similar to Sony's. I feel like I'm right around here as far as where the sound is coming out. With the AirPods Max, it is much wider, probably twice as wide. Like you're kind of sitting there where you have speakers all around you. And the piano did sound a little bit more rich, but other than that, uh, they were very close. And volume, interestingly, was also pretty much identical between the two. It seems like with the AirPods, I don't know if it's just the EQ or the DSP, whatever's happening here, I know they have mics that are facing in that are adjusting everything constantly to make sure there's no distortion. And in some songs, it'll lower down the volume to make sure there's no distortion where the bows don't do that. But in songs where there's less going on, it allows you to get louder, especially if you have a good quality source and that it, they both sounded really good. Now, Angelica did notice something else. Um, the AirPods Max do leak more sound than the Bose, at least in some of these last songs that we were testing. So that's something that's very interesting. And I also noticed room noise with the Bose, just like I do uh, with the AirPods Max, whereas the Sony's, I didn't. The Sony's really didn't do good. They distorted in the song. Uh, sorry that I keep bringing those up, but I just tested those yesterday. And overall, as far as sound quality, I will have to say, I'm impressed with the Bose. Yes, the soundstage isn't as good, but the separation of different instruments other than in rock genres, it's really good. The clarity is good. Um, they do a great job. Maybe you'd want a little more bass, but you could probably EQ that in. I'm impressed with these, but overall, the AirPods Max, they do sound better and they sound great all around with a bunch of genres. Do they sound $150 to $200 better, uh, depending on the price for the Bose when you're watching this video? I don't know. I think it really depends on what you want to listen to. If you're listening to rock, or if you're listening to something that has a lot of bass, I would say probably. Uh, if you're listening to stuff that's more like classical, then probably not. And of course, you can add a little bit more bass to these. So that is subjective. But I guess if you're taking a look at the overall picture and you are an iOS user, you're getting a lot with these headphones. You're getting um, Siri support. You're getting announced messages. You can quickly switch between your devices pretty much instantly. Um, along with that, you have spatial audio, which I didn't cover in this video. Um, the Bose don't have any surround sound at all. And and Apple does an absolutely phenomenal job with their spatial audio. So if you wanna watch movies, the experience is incredible. You won't be able to match it up with the Bose. So once you consider all of that, if you're an iOS user, I would say, yeah, it probably is worth the extra money for the AirPods. The active noise cancellation is better. The ambient mode is quite a bit better and they just work really well in the Apple ecosystem. Now, with that said, if you're somebody that is using Android, I would say I would probably go with the Bose, as long as you're not listening to rock or something that is very taxing on these headphones. Because with that, you're not gonna get most of the main extra features and bonuses with the AirPods, and the active noise cancellation and the sound is still very good with these Bose. But you guys let me know your thoughts down in the comments section below. Did anything really surprise you? I wanna hear your guys' opinions. Click that circle above and help us reach 550K before the end of the year, that would be amazing. And and check out one of those awesome videos right over there. This has been Max, and I'll see you in the next video.